Hey guys, welcome back to eFishing. I'm Rodney, and today we're going to talk about how to make a lock on your spinnerbait. Now, a couple weeks ago, we had this little gadget out here, the little blue bender, and we made some R bends and spinnerbait wires. Now, in that discussion, someone asked me why I don't use the little blue bender to make the loop to put your spinnerbait blade on. Kind of like this right here. Now, this is a Booyah spinnerbait that I had. You could use this to make that little loop to put your spinnerbait blade on. But I've had that thing come undone and I've lost spinnerbaits over the years with that. I started making this little lock on this spinnerbait and there's no way with that little loop on there that that thing is going to come loose. No way. And I've had fish come up and grab that blade and yank on it. And you can tell they'll yank on it. They'll come up and bite it and yank it. And they'll sometimes just yank that thing off. And I think it's because of this, the way this is, and it gets in there and gets kind of twisted or something in there and they'll just pull that thing out and i've even had them take this little wire here where it'd be up in there twisted like that somehow or another and actually bend that wire out right there we're going to make a little lock on that so uh let's get to it so to make this lock i like to use a pair of round nose pliers and these have got a channel in it also we'll use a pair of needle nose pliers sometimes those are help to hold on to the wire and then to kind of finish it off, I've just got a pair of regular pliers here. And these have got some grooves in it, which helps hold that wire to kind of mash everything together. And we'll show you what happens here in just a second. To get started here, we've got a spinnerbait head. It's a 3 8 And we just got a number 4 blade here. It's already on the swivel. To get started, we're just going to take our round nose pliers here. And we're going to place them at the end of the wire. And we're going to try to get as close to that as we can and use the smallest part. And we're just going to make up one loop. Kind of like that right there. You can see that. So once we have that loop made, we're going to take our round nose pliers again. And we're going to make another loop but this time we're going to make that loop come down towards the hook and we're going to grab this thing just in front of where the end of this is all right and we're just going to bend that around like so so we have something that looks kind of like this so we're then at this point i'm going to go ahead and put my blade on here and you might have to open it up just a little bit so you can get that thing on there so when you get it looking like that it's time to take your blade and stick your blade on there so you already have that on there. Now you just want to take your loop here and bring this part up over the top of your wire to where that kind of comes over the top of that. You can see that. And then I like to take my pliers and just come in here and just squeeze that loop on down to where it's and there's no way that thing's gonna come off of there and that is how you make a lock for your spinnerbait and it's just about at the right spot Well, I hope that helps y'all get that little lock on your spinnerbait right there and you don't lose your blades because blades are getting expensive and swivels are getting expensive too. Anyways, if you guys like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up down there and make sure you hit that subscribe button too. It helps out on the YouTube algorithm. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys out on the water next time. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Rodney, The Fishing. We're out.